Okay, so uh, this is on operations on radicals, adding and subtracting radicals, multiplying and dividing radicals. You should start by working through this worksheet. Um, you can do this on your own at home. It really won't take all that long. You know, you're just going to go 3 root 5. It's on your calculator. That'll look like a, a 3. Uh, type in the root sign, put in the 5, close the parenthesis. Uh, to have it evaluate that expression and then add 4 root 5 same deal get the decimal equivalence of those and work your way through this and then come down here and look for the expression in simplified form and you're looking for a way that you can make this simpler okay and we'll pick up with uh, doing some examples of this stuff in a moment but uh, work through this worksheet first on your own Okay, make sure that you're working through the textbook questions in the order that we suggest. So that means that right now you're on page 23 in exercise 1.5. And you're basically going to be adding some like radicals. And what do I mean by like radicals? Well, let's say I have 3 root 3 plus 7 root 3 minus 2 root 3. These are called like radicals since each one of them is a root 3. And then all we do is add the numbers. 3 plus 7 is 10, minus 2 is 8. 8 what? Well, we have 8 root 3s. You can almost treat this as like 3x plus 7x minus 2x, right? And you're just combining like terms in this manner. Now, what if you have some like terms and some unlike terms. So for example, what if we have 3 root 2 minus 2 root 3 plus 4 root 2 plus 5 root 3. Now in this case the root 2's are the like terms and root 3's are also like terms. So we have 3 root 2's plus 4 root 2's, giving me a total of 7 root 2's, minus 2 root 3 plus 5 root 3 will be plus 3 root 3. Since this is a root 2 and this is a root 3, these are unlike terms, or unlike radicals, and we cannot proceed any further. This is the final form of our answer. Ah, but things step up a little bit in difficulty. So let's say we have to do something like root 8, root 8 minus root 18 plus root 32 minus root 50. Now at this point you might say, well these are all unlike radicals. I've got a root 8, a root 18, a root 32, root 50. You know, I don't have 2's under the root sign or 3's. Uh, but wait, one of the things we do is we have to simplify these radicals. So root 8, that's the root of 4 times 2, is 2 root 2. Root 18 is 3 root 2. Root 34 is 4 root 2 and root 50 is 5 root 2. Okay, I'm just going to go over here I'll just explain this one so root 8 is the root of 4 times 2 which is root 4 root 2 or 2 root 2. And one more root 50 is the root. We're looking for a perfect square that goes into 50, so that's 25 times 2. Root 25 root 2, or 5 root 2. And really, you just want to be at the point where you'll be able to look at this and say, oh, that's 9 times 2, so it's the square root of 9 is 3. You get 3 root 2. That's 16 times 2. Now they are all like terms, so we have 2. Minus 3 is negative 1 plus 4 would be positive 3, minus 5, which will give me negative 2, root 2. Another way you could do 2 is you could say 2 plus 4 gives me positive 6 root 2, minus 8 root 2, 6 minus 8 is negative 2, 
giving us negative 2 root 2. So what we need to be prepared to do is to express entire radicals as mixed radicals and then collect like terms. Okay, what we did with square roots works with cube roots, fourth roots, etc. So we want to express an entire radical. Cube root 81 is a mixed radical. And the perfect cube that goes into 81 is 27, which will be 27 times 3. Cube root of 27 is 3. Minus 4, and this already is a cube root 3. Don't forget the index on these guys. Plus 2. Now, cube root 192, this might take a little bit of work. I'll show this one. So what's a perfect cube that goes into 192? The first cube is 8. 8 goes into 192, uh, how many times? 24 times. 24? No, let's see, 8 into that, 2, yeah, 24 times. Uh, but 8 is a perfect cube, which would go into 20. 64 three times, which means 64 is the largest perfect cube times 3. And the cube root of 64 is 4. And yeah, that's enough brackets. So <clears throat> just to finish this off, it's cube root 64, cube root 3, which is 4 cube root 3. And this is an equal sign. So that's uh, 3 cube root 3 minus 4, which is negative 1 cube root 3 plus 8. So this expression will be 7 cube root 3. So convert from uh, entire radicals to mixed radicals. Leave this as a mixed radical. Convert this from entire to mixed, multiplying by 2. Collect your terms, the like terms, right? And if we'd have had a, you know, let, let's say we had plus cube root uh, 7, then that would just be along for the ride and end up down here again along for the ride. Okay, cube root 7, because that's not a like term. We can't do anything with the 3 and the 7 here, or the 7 and the 7 here. This expression just is what it is. Alright, let's do some multiply divide. Let's start simple. Root 2 times root 3 is the root of 2 times 3. And really, just write this as root 6. Uh, 3 root 2 times 2 root 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Root 2 times root 3 is root 6. But sometimes we get this. Root 3 times root 15 is the square root of 45. But wait a sec. 9 goes into 45. So 9 is a perfect square. We pull it out as a 3. And this becomes 3 root 5. So sometimes we're multiplying um, two things which themselves have no perfect squares that they go into, but since this has a factor of 3 and this has a factor of 3, those two factors of 3 combine here, giving us a factor of 9, which when removed from a square root sign becomes a 3. So we have to watch that uh, such things that simplify may, or when multiplied, may in fact end up simplifying. Uh, let's try one more. 3 root 2 times 5 root 6 is 15 root 12. Ah, but root 12 is 2 root 3. So it's 15 times 2 root 3 which is 30 root 3. Okay, so again, anytime that you multiply, you need to be looking and seeing if that then further simplifies by uh, giving you an entire radical, which can be expressed as a mixed radical. And let's do a little bit of division. So if I have root 15 divided by root 3, 
that may be expressed as the root of 15 over 3, which is root 5. And what else? How about root 75 divided by root 3 is root 25, which is just 5. So that's kind of interesting that that simplifies right out uh, like that with the division. Okay, and that leaves you with a number of textbook questions to do, as well as the worksheet exercise 2.8 and just number 1. Uh, right now we're interested simply in multiplying and dividing monomial radicals. Okay, and we will move that up a little bit later, or in tomorrow's. We'll move that up, and we will go for um, binomial and monomial times binomial radicals. So that will be in the next video.